Hello and welcome back to Smith Robotics. Now, I know I haven't really made that many videos at the moment. Well, that's because I'm kind of working on that guy. Uh, yeah, Golden Freddy. Now, it's not for the suit here. That still will be for Spring Bonnie, which is here. But that's going to be the old head. And at the minute, I'm currently working on a new one with a new neck design. The snout as well. But yeah. Um, I've also got him to sell as well. But yeah, at the moment, Golden Freddy is almost done. Now, sure, some bits on the fabric and everything aren't that pretty, but as as well, uh, I've learned from my mistakes, and I'm going to start sewing again all the different parts. But I'm waiting for the teeth to dry downstairs, which I have another video on as well. And yesterday I applied the fabric on the main part of the head, the snout as well attached to it, the little freckles and also the eyebrows as well. So other than that, it looks quite good. Um, so on the 3D printers there and the there, that is printing off the back left half of the head. And that there is printing off the top hat so far. I've already got one ear made and I'm just going to wait until these printers are done. I want them, I want it done roughly by Wednesday. So yeah, that's going to leave a bit of time. Back. I'm also going to have to work a bit more on this guy here. Um, what I'm going to have to do is find other server motors for the right eye. I'm also going to have to try and figure out a way to touch up some paint here and there as well. Uh, I know the teeth aren't really that great, but yeah. And as well, better eye mechanism here. I just 3D print a universal joint rather than just using a regular one because it kept turning side to side and that wasn't too good. Uh, what else? So, at the moment over here, it's just kind of a mess. I might have to uh, spray paint that again. That holds the eyelids in place and stuff. Uh, let me see. But yeah, other than that then, the only major problem is, is uh, trying to find a way to hold the endoskeleton head on, no, the Freddy head onto the endoskeleton. I've got these connectors at the back here which like slide on top but unfortunately whenever i do that it slants forward so i can't really do that uh i might have to find some other ways to do but in the inside the head i think on the back of it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add in all the arduino uh, uh power supply all that stuff so i can have it on its own rather than connect to the computer so whenever i want to i could press a button somewhere or something that would have been a very cool idea actually if you press the button then it starts activating and moving uh as well the eyelids there do not move uh i kind of want to go for more five nights of freddy's one variation so so some of the movements are limited but unfortunately with the ear it's only going to go up and down rather than you see in the trailer when it goes backwards and forth uh, that's kind of the only major difference, and as well, uh, the colour is a little bit different. I kind of based it off of the Spring Bonnie design that I did as well. And it kind of looks like the Final Fantasy Freddy's AR version as well, if you think about it, because it's got a little bit more of a light snow, I think. But yeah, this guy's huge as well, because it's game accurate size and kind of movie accurate size as well. And I don't know if many people actually think how big they are, but they're, they're massive. Like, that's my hand compared to the head. So, <laughs> the, the hand print on the original model, it's kind of based more on that head over there for the size. So, yeah. So, pretty much, uh, oh, I was a Game Theory, my past video, this, like, talking about the... Uh, the bite here, the bite of 83 and how powerful the jaw is and everything 
the number of that might be a little bit of inaccurate if you think about it because of the size difference of how it is in the games compared to that handprint as well. So it might even be less or more force to bite down somebody's head. I don't know. But yeah, just a bit of uh, interesting fact there. <laughs> I'm trying to remove some of the some of the things off of there if I can. But yeah, that was, that was so bad. But yeah, I'm gonna try and make the eyes move uh, with LEDs inside as well, so it would almost look like off the movie. I did try and do the black people eyes, but uh, when spray paint it just didn't look right, so I'm gonna have to do that again and change it actually. So I might just use regular acrylic paint. But yeah, that's kind of it for now on the major updates. But yeah, also, <laughs> I'm going to be using wood filler now, so I don't have all these seams and lines and all the parts. Some bits are alright for, let's say, like, some of the bits on the back, I guess. It, it does look like it's metal being welded, which is pretty cool, but at the same time, uh, if it doesn't look right, then I'm not going to do it. So, yeah. Other than that, that's kind of it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll start making more videos again once I get this guy mainly sword. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, you'll be bitten. Ah!